This song has been wrecking me. I woke up this morning with this song in my spirit. And I've listened to it over and over today. I'm like, God, what are you saying? Because the song is awesome. <laughs> but what God ministered to me is, I don't know if any of you had to wait for a lover or someone you loved dearly, the most important person to you, and you loved them so much, but for some reason, they just couldn't get it right. So you decided that you were gonna stand on the sidelines and give them the space, the grace, show them patience so that they could get whatever it is out their system and that when they come back to you, they'll realize that you've waited for them all along and they will love you for that. <laughs> Listen, God has been so good and so faithful in my life. Even when I was out there and my, my lifestyle did not please him. But on that side of things, he just waited for me to get it together because the Bible says that he doesn't want to lose any of us. It's not his desire for any of us to perish. And so he gave me just enough time to get my stuff together and get it out of my system and come back home. And just like the prodigal son who had gone out and spent all his inheritance when he came back home, his father saw him from afar off and he ran to greet his son who was lost. He had given him his inheritance and given him time. He knew he would have come, you know, come back home. I don't know who this message is for today, but God has given you time and he is waiting just for you. He will not close that door until you have come home. Come on home today. He is knocking on the door of your heart. Come on home today. This message is not meant to be perfect. It's meant to reach the one that God is calling out. Come on home.